Fellow Ghanaians, one primary goal of the Constitution was to decentralize the structure of governance in Ghana so the government would be brought closer to the people. One fundamental barrier to the realization of this goal has to do with the ramifications of Article 55, Clause 3 of the Constitution, which currently bars political parties from involvement in district assembly elections and local government. The attempt I made in 2019 to repeal this provision and allow for the participation of political parties in local government was aborted because of the lack of a broad national consensus when the opposition NDC signaled its inability to back the repeal. It was and continues to be my view that the repeal or modification of an entrenched clause of the Constitution should attract widespread support to make it acceptable and healthy for the body politic. We should further bear in mind the strong attachment of the Ghanaian people to multi-party democratic elections. On the average, the turnout for national elections in the Fourth Republic has been 72%, one of the highest in the world, whilst the turnout for the allegedly non-partisan local government elections has always hovered around 30%. I've said it before, and I'll repeat it. I will continue to work for an extensive national consensus on this issue. And should such a consensus be attained for the repeal of Article 55, Clause 3 of the Constitution, and an agreement reached for political parties to participate in and sponsor candidates for election to district assemblies. At any point during my remaining tenure of office as President of the Republic, the matter will be brought back again to the front burner of our public discourse for the necessary action.